Hello and welcome to Environmental Express Tech Tips. My name is David and today we will be reviewing Biochemical Oxygen Demand or BOD by Standard Methods 5210B. BOD has many steps that are necessary to fulfill in order to obtain a good passing batch of samples. From the dilution water reagents to the bottles, Environmental Express provides several products that are designed to make your setting up of a BOD batch quick and easy. Obtaining acceptable dilution water is the first step in doing an acceptable BOD batch. The quality of the dilution water is important because this water will come into contact with every sample involved in your batch. Deionized water requires the addition of several trace nutrients to ensure a proper environment for the incubation of bacterial populations. To prepare, simply add one milliliter of each of the nutrients to your dilution water per liter of dilution water. After the addition of each of your reagents, you'll need to stir and aerate the water. Once this water has been properly aerated, it is ready for use in your samples. Obtaining an acceptable seed source presents a unique problem for many analysts. Influents are often toxic and are highly variable, while effluents have been chlorinated to remove microbial populations. To overcome these problems, use a freeze-dried seed such as polyseed. Simply place the contents of one capsule into 500 milliliters of your dilution water. More or less water can be used to adjust the strength of the seed as needed. Stir or aerate the seed for one hour. After the seed has stirred for an hour, allow the bran to settle and decant the liquid from the top. Your seed solution is now ready for addition to your sample bottles. The glucose glutamic acid check standard is the primary measure for precision and accuracy of a BOD batch. For ease of use, Prepared vials with the appropriate amount of glucose and glutamic acid are recommended. Simply uncap the vial and pour the contents directly into your BOD bottle. After you have obtained adequate dilution water and prepared your seed and added your standard, you need to decide which bottle you would like to use for your BOD batch. Traditional glass bottles or plastic bottles are available for use. These plastic bottles are specially designed and are approved by the EPA for use in the determination of biochemical oxygen demand and dissolved oxygen. The bottles are manufactured with a special coating on the inside to prevent the migration of oxygen through the plastic and also prevents the leaching of oxidizable materials into your samples during incubation. The plastic bottles fit your standard stoppers and overcaps. Each sample needs to be checked for the proper pH range and the presence of chlorine. If the sample is outside of the acceptable pH range, it needs to be adjusted with dilute solutions of sulfuric acid or sodium hydroxide. Chlorine, if present, needs to be neutralized with sodium sulfite. Each sample needs to have several dilutions prepared to ensure an appropriate BOD value. Analysts who are familiar with their samples will be able to use as few as three dilutions However, samples of unknown strength or that are highly variable may need more bottles in order to ensure an appropriate depletion. Add the appropriate amount of sample to each of your bottles and then top off with dilution water. Obtain the initial dissolved oxygen reading and place a cap onto each bottle, ensuring to achieve a proper water seal. Place the overcap onto the bottle and it is now ready for incubation. Samples should be incubated for five days at 20 degrees Celsius. After the five day incubation period, remove your samples from the incubator and determine the final dissolved oxygen content. In order for a sample to be acceptable, it must have a minimum of two milligrams of oxygen per liter depletion, and again, a residual of at least one milligram of oxygen per liter remaining. This is known as the two to one rule. Environmental Express provides everything you need for a successful BOD batch, from the dilution water reagents to the bottle. 
There's also a full line of incubators from 3 to 27 cubic feet available for use. Thank you for joining us for Environmental Express Tech Tips. My name is David and I appreciate the opportunity to earn your business.